Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreatForals.com and today we are reorganizing my Raskog Michaels cart. So this is the Michaels version of a Raskog which is originally from Ikea. Um, other places do sell these now. I think Target has them. There's a new one at Michaels as well. This one's the $30 one. They do have $50 ones um, that come with gadgets and gizmos. But I want to reorganize this because it's just not working right now. Now I did do a little bit of reorganization since, did I even show that on here? I think only my patrons, patrons saw it. Um, I did show it in an Instagram story as well, but on the first shelf is an organizer from Ikea here. It's made like a thick card chipboard, cardboard stuff. And this is a kit. So this whole white organizer up here is a kit um, for a six bag album, which is also up here. Um, but I just don't work on it lately. Um, I think I just want to move it out of here so I can put things that I'm currently working on in here or using. Um, so I think we're going to take this out. But that's what's currently up there is this nice organizer. I also have, I usually keep my bullet journal over here. But currently I have images to stamp and color and make into cards. So I have some that I need to cut um, and some that I need to color. So I have some ready for Easter cards. Cute stuff. Um, and I have a new idea for those as well. So those won't be in the top. Um, second shelf here, which... You can kind of see. Let's lower it down a little bit more. And don't mind the mess everywhere else around. That's some other stuff over there. It's currently mixed media, which again, this isn't all of my mixed media, just what's here right now. Sequins and then washi tape. And then I have my rags <laughs> to clean off my social media, my social media, my mixed media stuff. Um, so this one's again, black luster, not a lot of stuff here. Um, and then the bottom one, which I don't know how I'm going to show you because you're on a big tripod, but I will give you an up-close look at that now. Okay, so this is the current state of the bottom section. It's a little bit of a mess. I have my stamping platforms here, and then I have um, where I keep my empties for the month. Um, so I just finished this chipboard set, as you guys probably saw on my channel. Um, so this is the empties for the month. I also have my ink cubes and my Arteza pens, and then filming equipment over here. So that's the third shelf. So to accomplish reorganizing this, I did buy a few things and also pull out some old things um, as possible options. Now I have these heart dishes. I thought these would be good if I'm keeping a kit in the top section that has small pieces. Usually I use these for sequins or wood veneer or just bits that I find on my desk. Um, and these are from a place called Wegmans, which is a grocery store. They sold them around Valentine's Day um, for a dollar. I don't, it says distributed by Wegmans, so I don't think that... These are found anywhere else. Now these are like a plastic, a hard plastic, um, but I have seen glass ones at other stores. I have one of these IKEA organizers. Um, I can't remember the name of it. it was, are, these are the ones that Adele uses for her little bits because um, they have the curved edges on the inside. So I have one of these from my, back when I was near an IKEA. I purchased some of the, oh, these are covered in cat hair now. Note that these are very staticky. I apologize. So I'll show you the top one only. I bought these long containers from Michaels um, when they had their sale. Um, just just a plastic. I do have some dollar store ones in here that are quite old, but I need something wider. So as you can see, this is quite wide compared to this. But it's also a little shorter than the dollar store version. But um, I have three of these, and then I also have three of these square size, which again, covered in cat hair. What are you going to do about it? It's fine. Um, these are quite shallow as well, but again, I thought these would be good for like die cuts sorted of by color or something. I don't have a plan, guys. I'm just going with the flow. Now, I have seen a lot of brass cogs before um, for all sorts of things, not even just um, crafting stuff. I've seen them in bathrooms. I've seen them in kitchens. There's a lot of great ideas and things you can do with brass cogs. I like the idea that some wheels, but I have yet to wheel it anywhere, so the wheels don't matter to me. Last thing I got, which I also featured in a haul video, which might not be up yet, but I got this acrylic divider. How am I supposed to show you something that's absolutely clear? How am I supposed to show this? Okay, so there's a section here, here, and here. You can kind of see it if I put it right here. So I have three sections, and then of course I could, you know, push this up against something, so I have a fourth or fifth section. I'm not sure why they go medium, small, small, tall. I don't understand that, but it's like a letter organizer. I've used letter organizers before, just never an acrylic one. I have gotten a couple of staples that I really liked that I used to use in college um, and in Maryland, I believe, when I used to go there, but this is what I have now. <laughs> so those are some new pieces I have. Of course, I have this stuff, but 
we're gonna get started on the top shelf because I have an idea of some things that I want to do to it. Okay, so I decided to move you closer to the action so you guys could see what was going on. I didn't talk about this, but I do have a hobby holster over on the side here, and it holds my mist bottle. Since my mixed media is over here, I thought that'd be a good thing to put there. No, it doesn't stick, but I also don't have the instructions to learn how to make it stick, so it just kind of clings on for dear life over there. But we're going to start off by taking out this organizer, and this was called Fajala Fala, F-J-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A. I'm not sure they have the white one anymore, as far as I've heard. They have a gray and then like a holiday print. I know they had a Christmas one, but we're going to take this out. There is a nice handle on it, which is convenient. And that's just going to go somewhere else and we don't need to worry about it anymore. <laughs> so don't even think about it, guys. Then for these guys, my little stamped images. Uh, again, I had recently purchased something to remedy this. Um, and this is actually a planner tote here. I talk about it in a haul video so you guys can watch that but I'll have a whole video about setting this up if you guys are interested. Um, just let me know in the comments. This is so I can color on the go. I can't unzip it right now anyway but that's where these images are going to go so I can work on them on the go. But my initial thought for the top shelf and what I've seen other people do including Adele, Inky Quill, um, well Tessa Rathcog that I've seen. I've, I've watched so many videos like craft room videos lately. Um, so I think I'm going to put my acrylic divider up here. Now as you can tell, it's not really, you can't see it. <laughs> you see the top panel here, but essentially I want stuff behind it and in front of it, you know, to be pushed together so it doesn't fall over. And what I'm thinking will go up here, actually it'll probably go on this side of the rest of it, since this side's closer to my desk, in case you guys didn't know, you're right next to my desk. But what I think is going to go over here and, I should probably peel this off before I fill it. It came off cleanly. Thanks, the Lord. What I'm thinking will go in here are all of my stickers and such. So, like, those are my phrase stickers. Let's see. I was thinking the thickers, which, again, are not organized currently, can go in the back here. Guys, this is going to work wonders. Right now, all this stuff, all of my embellishments that are currently at this apartment are stored in this. Which, again, I've showed to my patrons, I believe, and to Instagram. And if you guys aren't my patron yet and you don't know what it is, I'll have a link down below to it. Essentially, it's another way to get more content from me and support me monetarily if you enjoy what I do and all the hard work I put in. Um, but yeah, I'll have a link down below. Again, stickers are not organized. I used to organize them by color, but I just flipped through the ones that I have here anyway, so I don't really care to organize them. There are some other alphabet stickers in here. They're essentially thickers, just thinner but they're like the same size so but since there's not a lot of weight in this they keep falling forward so we need to remedy that as well i do have some other ones shorter ones will go in the front taller ones go in the back okay then we get to like cardstock stickers oh but shouldn't so here's my question for all of you that have collections of stuff or if you have like some of the collection, do you keep all the stuff together? Because I have the golden wood thickers now and the golden wood cardstock stickers. But obviously they're not a perfect match. It's like these are very generic and these don't need these to survive. So let me know what you guys do about that. For now, I'm going to put the thickers in the back because that's where thickers go, guys. That's where thickers go to live off their lives. And then cardstock stickers would go here because, again, very tall. But obviously I know the thickers are in the back. Okay, this is way too tall to be in the front. We'll figure that out later. Then like ephemera could go here. Ephemera doesn't usually stay in their packets. That's just a little bit of a weird one. Um, I have these brads that could go there. Guys, I don't have many embellishments here. <laughs> I hope this isn't disappointing when I start organizing it. It's half empty. More alphabets back there. Again, all my alphabets will be back there. That's the idea anyway. And I apologize for the shadows. I do have two lights at opposite angles, but it's just not working out right now. Things like doilies are hard because they're tall, but they're, they're more long than tall. But I usually keep them in the back because that usually keeps them flat. But again, if I don't have enough stuff to fill this acrylic divider, it's not going to work. I do have all my puppy stickers still. I wish I could show you guys everything that I'm trying to do, but it's hard to get an angle that's also on the floor. Um, okay, here we go. We got some thicker packages, which might help keep stuff up. There we go. I guess ephemera in the front. Why not? See, but I have more. We're just going to go by height, I guess, not by type, because the height thing's going to work out better than 
most things would. Okay, but this is really short. These are really, really short. And sometimes I just have like a sheet of cut parts. They just all go in the same place to me. Obviously, I'm not going to have enough to fill this. It's just obvious at this point, isn't it? This is so sad. I thought I'd have enough stuff. These little charms by Paige. I hope this angle's working. I'm not 100% sure it is. This lighting looks whack. Oh, I think I'm creating a shadow. And I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Do I have one that's not even touched yet? Oh, okay. There's some stuff in there. Again, the tallness thing is what really gets me. It's like, if things are tall, they should go behind the other. So far, I like it better than my current system, so don't worry. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to undo all this once the video's over. Or will I? We don't know. And that way, I can just pull from these when I'm not working from my kits. Or if I am working from my kits and trying to build a kit, I can pull from here. As you guys might know, and you saw a little bit of it earlier, I used to do a binder ring system um, with the majority of my stickers, like almost all of them, where the type of sticker determined what binder ring you were on. So for example, all my puffy stickers are on a binder ring, because if I knew I wanted puffy stickers, I just grabbed the binder ring. This does not work unless you're hanging <laughs> your um, elements, because they won't sit well. So as you can see here, there are different heights. They sit like this. The strongest ones survive, the little ones do not. So binder rings going goodbye for this type of sticker. We might be back. I punched all the holes in most of these, so we might be back. And I know you guys really enjoyed the craft room cleanup videos I used to do. Um, I guess this is kind of one of them. I might include it. Let me know if you guys want to keep calling all of my organization videos craft room cleanup because it makes sense, but it's also, you know, a different era, different moment in time. Not the same craft room, at least. All my dollar store stickers. Again, I'm not sorting by type, I'm sorting by height. That does not fit there. Because that's how I visualize things. Um, although often, if you're with a collection, where you buy from the same manufacturer a lot, you'll find that the heights often coincide with type. There we go. This is very thin. Okay, we're filling up some sections. This middle section here is very wobbly still. So. Oh, so is that back section. We'll just move everything back there. We'll just move up these to the next section. So we kind of an empty section here, so I might be able to fit something else in there. Maybe. Again, all very dependent on other factors. Just put those there. These loose stickers can go back here. I really need to start using these. Those will probably be in my next kit because they just need to be used. Now I also have other bits in here. Currently my thumb is stored like these. Um, but since we have the new containers, let's see what fits up here, perhaps. That's, that's a good fit. I know you can barely see it back here, but it, um, squishes the thickers back a little bit more, um, holds the hobby holster down, but I don't know what I'm going to put in there. So let's see. I definitely want one of these long containers for, that's not going to fit, if it's, if it's. <laughs> I definitely want one of these containers for my sequins, so let's let's put all my sequins on the top. Maybe we'll try that out. I do use these on almost every project. As you guys know, I'm or might not know, I'm on the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. So I get sequins and boysenier every month for the new releases. And I do have a coupon code that you guys can always use for 15% off your order. It's just Caitlin15 and you get a discount. Oh my god, they all fit. That's beautiful to see. And then I could probably put these in rainbow order if I'm feeling up to it. And now I have this stretched out <laughs> dollar store container to use for something that's more its size. Okay, so we do have an open spot here, like I mentioned. I do have my washi tape again. I could put these somewhere because I use these almost on every layout. Um, if you guys remember, my washi tape used to be stored in a drawer, which it still is. I haven't moved it all yet. I was waiting to move that drawer until I had some help to carry everything in my car because I have a lot of stuff I want to move. But as you guys know, moving is a lot of work. <laughs> so my scrap stuff has, you know, it's been split pretty much. 
um, into two places, which is fine. I can still visit and scrapbook other things, but this is looking good. Or I could do something where I could maybe put, let's see, maybe I could fit. I wonder if, oh my God, the cat hair is crazy. Or I could fit two little ones here and put stuff. Do you see my dilemma, guys? I'm not, I'm not crazy. This is a big dilemma. Because the washi tape fits fine in the dollar store holster. It's not like I need this much room, you know. I'm going to put it back in the dollar store one, I think. Not in any which way or fashion right now. I'm just going to put it in. Because um, it doesn't even take up the whole dollar store one. So I'm not worried of running out of room at the moment. Um, and when I do finally bring my washi tape organizers, they won't be going in these. I'll put it back in the drawer probably. Okay. So we do have this empty space. Like I said, I could fit two of these which I think is more practical because then I could put two things in, grab one to the desk and bring it back here. Maybe I'll put these in there because right now these just sit in the box and I'm trying to get rid of this bin. This is all that's left in it, mostly ephemera and ribbon and the ribbon can definitely go somewhere else. And a few washi tapes, which are giveaway washi tapes. So those should also go somewhere else. Again, guys, these are more like temporary solutions. Ideally, my kits would eventually go up here in this acrylic divider. Um, but my kits are stored fine right now. They're in one of the purple bins as well. Just, you know, better situated because it's less stuff. <laughs> okay, so all the ribbons taken out of there and then I'll take the ephemera out because that honestly has to go somewhere else. If you guys have any tips for storing ephemera, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but for now, I think we should do colored die cuts in one. Okay, now they're all upside down. That was a very poor decision. So I'll do... Colored in one and neutral another because I don't have many here. That'll work. Eventually I'd have, you know, enough containers to sort it all. But again, I don't have it all here, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to put these in here. So these can just go in this middle section. Again, not by height. They're just, they're just in there. And then the neutral ones will go in this bucket. And then again, I can just pull this to my... Oh my god, they're so little. Don't worry. I probably bought more. There's probably more to put away. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but now I have these round containers. Now these used to hold tape. My dad got these for me. Um, they were just, you know, holding tape and then you use the tape and the tape's gone. So you got to do something with it. Um, but I really like how this looks. There's plenty of room to grow. So I'm done with this month's kit. I can put the embellishments back in here. And then I can pull out new embellishments for the next month. So I really like this acrylic divider. Again, it was just on clearance. No idea why. No idea what it actually is. It could be one of their fixtures that someone just put a sticker on and then I bought it by accident. But I think we're done with the top shelf. Let me know what you guys put in your Raskog. Um, there's a little bit of room, just, just a little bit up here to breathe. Um, so I could put a tool over here or something if I needed to. Uh, I used to put my bullet journal up here, like I said, but for the most part, I keep that on my other desk. Um, so I don't really bring it over here. But I also thought about putting some of my tools over here so I don't have to have them on my desk. But I found that just reaching all the way to my right was just like way too much. Like I wouldn't put things away, they'd just stay on my desk. Um, so I was being very lazy. So I'll keep my ephemera pieces in here. Again, I have new ones to open and stuff. Um, but I'll sort them by colored and then not colored until that doesn't work anymore. And then we'll have to find something else once I bring the rest of the stuff here. But let's move on to the second shelf and see what we can do with that one. So here again is an overview of the second shelf. We have my rags here. The sequins used to be here, the washi tapes here, stencils, all the weird mixed media stuff over there. So let's see what we can do about this one. So first I think I'm going to put all of my mixed media in one of the large rectangles here. Let me just move this bin out of my way and the ribbon that we don't need anymore over here. Let me see if we can get this. So I'll move these out of the way. I've got my rag and my extra rag. but So I think tall stuff in the back makes sense. Modeling paste, meat gel mediums I still haven't used, then sprays. Again, I have more than this, but they're organized in a different way. So again, temporary organization here. Then paint, again, going by size, Nuvo drops. Dauber, again, a little taller, but that's fine. Acrotones, and then my shimmers. Okay, so that means I'm left with a pasties by Shimmers and an Oxide. 
uh, this probably should go. So thinking about my desk being to the left of this, that means my washi tape would go closer to me than my mixed media, only because I use my washi tape way more. I guess that could go there and that could go there. I just kind of crammed them all together, but it's fine. Washi tape is going to live in here. Now I have extra space. Um, I'm going to tuck my rags here over here. This is where they're supposed to live, but they're going to be in the way. Uh, so I'm going to move them for now. Actually, I can put the extra one in the back there. So I can cut them. And this is just a dollar store, um, like, ShamWow thing. So that'll go in the back there. So that leaves us with a couple of options on what we could put on this shelf. I could put some of these bins. Or I could do maybe one of these. Oh my goodness, that was so loud. Or I could do one of these. My Ikea bin would fit nicely here. Again, I don't know what I want to put in it because I'm pretty much fit all my embellishments on the top shelf. So now I'm asking myself, why do I need a rask cart? Or I could just separate my mixed media out a bit more. Look at, they fit so nicely together. Um, but I don't really have the need for that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm eventually going to keep my bullet journal and my coloring kit. So I'm going to call this my coloring kit. And then these would move down this way. Go down here. Or something. Okay, we're moving these. They're just in the way. And then the stencils would move down. So my coloring kit would go here or here. Bullet journal. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me know again what you guys put on your Raskov cards. Now, I used to put my um, ATG gun here, it would just sit somewhere on one of these shelves which I really like because it does take up a lot of room on my desk. And if I'm making a card or something, it's nice to know, one, where it is after I'm done with everything, and two, it just looks nice. Um, and if you guys are wondering what that is in the background there, that's just my light diffuser. <laughs> it looks really weird back there. So I guess we're going to leave this pretty much empty for now. I am going to put my coloring kit here just flat. It fits nicely flat, so we'll just put it in like that. And I put my little sham wows away. These will probably just go back here. Again, sorry for all the clanging. I'm not used to working with metal. Um, and then I have my rings on and all that. So these will just go in the back there. And I'm going to call that shelf done. Again, it'll probably change a hundred times. Um, I could put like the ribbon in a little cup. You know what? Let's do that. Maybe I'll use it. So again, I'm going to move this out of your way even though it's going to go there. I'm going to put the ribbon in this little cup. And by ribbon, I mean twine. It's mostly, mostly twine. But I didn't buy these cups for no reason, so I'm going to use them all. <laughs> there. <laughs> it looks so bad. Um, that can go in the back. Um, so now this bin's officially empty. And then my coloring stuff and my bullet journal will both fit here. And then this is what it'll look like from my desk point of view. Because again, my desk is off to the left. So that works out pretty well, I think. So let's move to the bottom shelf. Now the bottom shelf's a little bit messy. Like I said before, I do have these empties that I keep every month and then, you know, recycle. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. Yes, it's been a great month for empties. Then I have my stamping platforms. Now my stamps are nowhere over here. They're actually on the opposite side of my room. So I'm keeping my stamping platforms over here. I'm not sure. Um, I think they're bulky um, and they just kind of fit. My Arteza brush pens are actually, that's so loud again. These are actually going to go into my coloring kit. Like I mentioned earlier, I bought that thing to put my markers in. Wow, this is really damaged, guys. So these are going to go in there, so I don't have to worry about putting those back. Scotch tape, I keep for emergencies just over here. Uh, my ink pads are going to stay down here. They're just safer. And then my filming stuff, diffusers, phone holder, hard drive. This is your reminder to back up your photos onto a hard drive. Not just electronically backup, physically backup as well is always safe. So then we have a couple more things, um, more static. I have these bins, the long rectangle bins I could use down here, maybe to corral my empties, but my empties are sometimes over 12 by 12, like the chipboard is, so this wouldn't really work. Um, we have a lot of sequins stuck at the bottom here. And apparently a metal piece, which is concerning, that I must have broken this off of here somewhere. Maybe it's just a piece of paint. Anyway, this broke off of my Rascog thing. Put that to the side. 
Um, like I said, I like storing my filming equipment down here um, because when I do live streams, I need to have my phone holder. So it's nice to know it's always here. Since I don't have drawers or anything here yet, it's just complicated to put everything away. Um, I also said that I don't like having some stuff on my desk. It really depends um, on what it is. But right now, I don't think that I found the perfect system yet. Since I do have my ink pads down here, and I don't access them enough as it is, I think putting my stamping platforms, if I can, <laughs> not sure they'll fit, um, down here would be good. And yes, I do own two. The Tim Holtz one I don't like as much as the Hampton Arts one, but the Hampton Arts one isn't available anymore. None of them are available anymore, it seems. Um, and again, I like my filming stuff down here, but something like this, these are just covers for my diffuser. Um, I'm wondering if I could hang it off the side or something, like with a twist tie, because I don't need it on a shelf. So I'm going to put that in the hang pile. And then I do like having my hard drives down here, but it's not like... These could just go in the office. It doesn't need to go on my Rascog. So that leaves me with my finished items, which again could totally go in like this thing, just to corral them every month. And it's not saying that I have finished items every month, it's just this month I haven't had a lot so far. But this does not fit anywhere, gosh darn it. <laughs> See if it's here, but I don't need it in the front. I need like a garbage that I'm not throwing away yet. Does that make sense? Those might not stay on the Rascog. I just liked how it was out of the way. But other than that, I think some other things I might keep on here are um, like my microphone when I'm not recording. I have that set up with my laptop right now, so I don't need to put it away. But my microphone will go in here. My pop filter. Um, you can see some stuff off to the left here. This is all over 12 by 12 stuff. Um, some other kits, some layouts that are done and need to be put away. Layouts I'm saving for layout shares, that kind of stuff. So that's why that's over there. Um, let me know again what you guys put on your Rascog carts. I know I'm asking that a lot, but my stamps are organized in a completely different way that won't fit on here, nor do I need them over here. Uh, but this is sort of almost all of my scrapbooking stuff in one place. Um, and by all of it, I mean all my embellishments are in the top that I have that aren't in kits. So I could put like my 6x6 paper pads here, but again, I don't, I don't need that on here. They're in a crate themselves that I can pick up and move. They don't need to be on a cart in a crate that I can pick up and move. Whereas my mixed media up there is a little bit smaller. Could pick that up, bring it to my desk. Um, I do have watercolor paper over here that I could always, you know, stick in here. It doesn't fit. That's because it's 12 inches. I forgot that it wasn't, you know, couldn't fit 12 inches in there. My bad. Um, but I think it's just gonna stay pretty simple. I'm gonna throw this stuff down there, unorganized. It's just empties. It's garbage. It's literal garbage <laughs> that I'm saving to share with you guys. Isn't that funny? Um, my phone holder will go there. This could still go in the back. And it's still functional. Um, I do have, I think this is the, so this is the ones that I, can you see all the cat hair? So I bought one of these and it's not used, but the rest of them I did use. However, I did find that I did have more dollar store organizers the other, um, while I was searching for something else earlier, so... I technically didn't need to buy any organizers, and I didn't use any of my other stuff, like my little heart containers or my Ikea little container, but that's okay. So let's do a little pan up of the cart here. So third shelf, the junk shelf. Second shelf, mixed media and washi tape, and then like stuff to go. So like my bullet journal will go over here too, and then the markers. And then the first shelf is pretty dang cool, I think. The first shelf is what I'm really proud of. That's really what I wanted to do over here. And then, like the like I said before, the project um, that was up here before will just go around my bookshelf, which is where all of these lived. And I can't reach my bookshelf from my desk, so this is much, much easier for me to use. My sequins, I can flip through them right on the top, whereas on the second shelf, I had to take the whole container out to go see what I had. Um, so this just works out a ton better. So let me know your final thoughts on my Rascog. It's a little bit empty. I'm definitely not thinking straight about what things I could put over here. I could put my punches over here. I thought about that. Maybe on the bottom shelf. That sounds pretty good. So maybe my punches will end up here, but my tools didn't end up in the top like I thought they might originally. I just think they're not going to work well over here because I don't like putting things away. So things that are easy to put away like right onto my desk are better off. So let me know what you guys think of this setup, uh, at least temporarily. I think it'll work temporarily. And let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have a divider like this one at the top here for your embellishments or how do you store your embellishments on your Rascog if you do? I'm interested. Let me know. And tag me in photos on Instagram if you want to show me what your Rascog actually looks like. Um, I'm just at and then gray florals. 
And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more cleaning videos, more organization videos. If you guys want them, let me know because this room is a wreck right now. <laughs> but thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.